Dan, this is James over at Realty Candy. I'm going to make this little video to show you how to make those save searches uh, for your market. And there's several different ways to do it. And they're all fine. You just have to find the way that works the best for you. So let me dive in here and show you two or three things. You'll get it, log in here to your IDX broker control panel. And we're going to click here on designs. And I'll save links. And I'm going to hit create. Now you can search by all different types of things. There's advanced search, address search, the basic search, listing ID. You can even do a map search. Or if you've done a search already on your page, on your IDX pages, and you like something, you can actually grab the URL up here in the top from the other page and, and stick it in there. But for this, I'm actually going to do um, an advanced search because I think I can show you a few things there. So let's do uh, city. I'm just going to put Charleston here. You can set status. So I'm going to put every, I want everything just active on this search. And you can search different property types. Uh, you know, here. You can put in the pricing information, square footage, bedrooms, of course, all of these things. Then you can also come over here and say, you know what, I want it in this area. We all know what west of the Ashley inside I-55226 is, or, you know, one of these areas here, you can sort by subdivisions, high schools. There's just a lot of options. If you don't see a feature in here that you want, let me know and we can see if it's available on uh, IDX Broker for your MLS and we can add it. A couple things here is that we we'll probably want something that everything that has an image. So if, if it's a new listing, it won't show. So maybe we don't want to put that. Um, the max days listed, this is what we're going to actually use for this. We're going to get all the new properties in three days. So let's see what this looks like. Everything in Charleston between 200 and 800 in the last three days. So I'm going to click view results in a new window. And this is showing uh, all the listings. And so, yeah, I think I like that. Let's, uh, let's use that. There's 22 results, which is a good amount. We don't want to get too many. So let's come down here. We have that search. I'll hit this next step button. So um, new Charleston homes for sale in the last three days. So let me put something here. This is uh, Something like that. You can add more information here. I'm just going to put save and manage links. So now we have, we can preview this. Let's open this. You can see this is the URL that we'll use now. So I can copy that and add that as a menu item. Or you can tell us, you know, hey, I want you to add all these and we'll put them in there for you. You can do that too. Let me just show you one more, and that's to make a map search. So, you know, if we if we have an area, say you, you really want to work on, on this area down here, we can set it like that, and it's going to exclude all the other listings. Or if I say, you know, I could have done the polygon and just said it's from here to here, and you can zoom in, and you can zoom out uh, to get the areas that you really want. This is just a random area. So I'll actually just label it this. It's at the bottom. 
and you know something for do all the same gets t into and that's it so now when we look at this one this is actually going to show all these uh, properties here with this map search and you can see them right here uh, on the side and this is using our new Maxima map search which we have activated on your account so then when they folks close in like this on that search you can see that this number keeps adjusting here the 16 out of 16 it just kind of tightens that search a little bit so that it's 5 out of 5 and then they can click off onto the uh, property that they want to see. Hope that helps you. Thank you.